Hi all, thank you for tuning in. This one's all about my time at BMSIS YSP as a research associate under the title Life Detection Strategies in Iceland's Mass Analog Sites. My project deals with the lipid analysis of a sample collected from a lava tube. Before getting into the details of the project, let's have a background look upon aliens, Goldilocks zone, biosignatures, detection of biosignatures, and the analysis part of it. One core question that binds us all as biology enthusiasts is that, is there life elsewhere in the universe or are they alien civilizations? If they are, where are they? When it comes to practical grounds, it's kind of disappointing that aliens are more like minute single cellular organisms than the fictional characters. There is a concept called as Goldilocks zone which states that if there is life, it has to be in a zone called as habitable zone, which is not too hot or too cold, and which in our solar system happens to be in between Venus and Mars, and that's exactly where our planet fits to be, and that is how life is possible on Earth. And life, when it interacts with its surrounding environment, it produces a certain biomarkers called as biosignatures as part of its metabolic processes. And these biosignatures tells us exactly about the composition of the organism and also the phylogeny if we have the necessary DNA databases from its 16S RNA sequencing. And biosignatures are exactly what we are looking for when we talk about search for life. And biosignatures could be analyzed in analog sites, which are similar environments, similar geochemical environments to that of other planetary systems. And one such mass analog site is Iceland, as it has subglacial volcanoes and hydrothermal systems. Subglacial volcanoes and hydrothermal systems are believed to have extreme temperatures and also there are speculations that certain single cellular organisms or extremophiles as we call it do exist and have adapted to the extreme temperatures and i have worked upon a sample that is collected from a lava tube lava tube is basically a cave of channelized lava flow that has been trapped into the interiors of a volcano and i have worked upon sample 108 which has been collected from one such lava tube and we run it through a software called as Bruca software where we obtain the mz values of the compounds present in that particular sample and then we run it through another software called as ms software the MYZ values that have been obtained from Bruco software are like copied in are run through MMAS software where it and it generates a complete detailed report of each compound formula and compound name that is corresponding to every MZ values. And that's how we get to know the compounds that are present in the sample. And these compounds belong to a particular organism different of what is a kind of its sort and once we know that a particular organism could be existing and growing in, in these extreme environments, then we must be sure of if these can grow in analog site, chances are they could also be growing on Mars out there. That's all for now. Thank you.